Hey Psych2Goers, do you have a feeling that something is wrong in your relationship or in a potential partner? Something just seems off. Psychotherapist and sex therapist Dolcina Pitagora noted in an article from Self that red flags in a relationship can be noticed first as simply feelings. Her tip, to pay attention to your body. What sensations are you feeling when you're deciding if something is a red flag? Is your heart rate increasing? Do you feel nervous in a negative way? She explained to Self that it's enough to know that something doesn't feel right and needs to change. But what if there are some red flags you missed? To help you out, here are five relationship red flags that therapists often warn about. Number one, they criticize you, subtly or passive aggressively. Does your date or partner subtly criticize you? Are they passive aggressive with you? Or maybe they aren't subtle at all. Criticizing a partner is a red flag. If you notice this early on, it's best to think again on if this person is right for you. Licensed marriage and family therapist at Choosing Therapy, Samara Quintero, told Insider that this is a form of emotional abuse that can lead to feelings of anxiety and insecurity in the partnership. Quintero gave Insider some examples of these frequent put-downs and criticisms, including, you're lucky I'm still with you because you'll never do better than me, and you sound so ridiculous when you try to be funny. Insider even mentioned a 2013 study published in the Journal of Violence and Victims. The study proposed that the effects of emotional abuse are just as detrimental as the effects of physical abuse. Number two, they're rude to staff and waiters. How does your date treat waiters and staff? Pay attention on your next date at a restaurant. Dating coach and couples counselor, Dr. Gina Sinarigi, explained to Self Magazine that how they treat service industry workers will give you some insight on their opinion on social structure. It can also show you their sense of entitlement and give you a look into how they treat others when they're in a position of power. If they're rude to them, then you now have a lot more info into what kind of person they really are. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, they're irresponsible and immature. Is your date or partner often irresponsible, immature? Irresponsible partners may find themselves in many crises each day because of their actions or immaturity. According to psychiatrist Dr. Abigail Brenner in her Psychology Today article, small crises surrounding the way they live their daily life may take up a lot of time and energy. If so, there may be little time and energy left for you and your issues. These people may still be working on growing up. In other words, it may be hard to rely on them for almost anything. So, while you may be there for them a lot of the time, they often won't be responsible enough or have much energy to give you the things you need in a relationship, possibly time and energy. Number four, they describe every one of their exes as crazy. Have you ever found out your partner was lying? Or maybe you've already discovered a few small lies from your date. Lying is a common relationship red flag. Therapist Samara Quintero explained in an article from Insider that we are all guilty of telling white lies. However, if you notice that your partner is consistently deceiving or getting caught in lies, it's a red flag. What's a relationship without trust anyway? Little lies add up. And if there are small lies, there could be big ones as well. Number five, they don't communicate with you or express how they feel in the relationship. Do you notice that you're the only one effectively communicating in the relationship? Being honest and communicating early on will only benefit your relationship. Therapist Samara Quintero also mentioned to Insider that a healthy relationship provides a safe place for both partners to speak openly on their emotions without fear of judgment or criticism. We mentioned passive aggressiveness before and harsh criticisms. These two can be signs of poor communication in a relationship. Communication is key, people, so make sure both you and your partner are both expressing how you really feel in the relationship and talking about what you want and need from each other. If they're not communicating, even after you've mentioned your concerns, this is likely another relationship red flag. 
If you've noticed many of these red flags, it's best to reconsider your relationship and not ignore the red flag warnings. So, did you notice any of these red flags in your relationship? In your partner or yourself? Feel free to share with us in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share it with someone. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.